Hello, welcome to Farm with Fred. Subscribe to my channel, like, share, and leave a comment. Today we'll learning about greenhouse and the climate inside a greenhouse. The reason to why we construct greenhouse or we adapt greenhouse farming one is because a uh, greenhouse itself creates a, 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 a microclimate or a climate different from what is outside uh, greenhouse crops if uh, you sub if by any chance you open the the greenhouse you open the covering and everything that is in the greenhouse this crop because they have been subjected to a certain climate they will be they will experience a lot of stress greenhouse generally creates a microclimate uh, for a good and a faster growth in, in, uh, in crops. When it comes to farming or when it comes to, uh, to greenhouse, there are different things inside now the greenhouse or uh, inside the microclimate that favors the crop. One is the temperatures. A very important component because the temperatures inside the greenhouse are different from the temperatures uh, that are outside. One, the greenhouse is supposed to regulate temperatures. Uh, when it's cold outside, in the greenhouse, uh, the, the, the temperatures are supposed to be higher. Now, that favors the, the crops inside. These are the things that makes a grower succeed. Temperatures. One... One of the things, the model of the greenhouse, how you construct a greenhouse, is now what matters. Because, like I told you, the crops relies on that microclimate. One, as you can see this greenhouse, the top of the greenhouse, as you can see, the top of the greenhouse, it's doom shaped. It's doom shaped. There is no ventilation. This kind of a greenhouse cannot be adopted in all areas. Because it's only favorable in, uh, uh, mostly in, Areas that are receiving maybe cold nights or sometimes uh, there is fluctuation of, uh, of weather. Sometimes it's very cold. So uh, when in, in this kind of doom shape in those areas, it's very favorable. But there are some areas where they receive a very hot uh, weather condition. Now, instead of doing a doom shape, you need a ventilation on top. Of the greenhouse, you need you need it to be ventilated. This is in order now to modulate the temperatures. That's now the structure, the structural uh, part of uh, temperature modulation. Others, when they have doom shape, they are there is something else they do. We are, we can do a, a good side netting or a, or a, 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 a good ventilation on the sideways, as you can see. In our case, the greenhouse is well ventilated, dooming, doom, dooming shape, but well ventilated. That means there is a good air circulation. So the temperature modulation inside the greenhouse is 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 very okay. Again, um, as a farmer, if uh, maybe you have a good netting, a good ventilation, and still you are receiving a hot uh, weather conditions or hot conditions inside the greenhouse, there is one key thing that we usually do, and that is irrigation. Irrigation is also a, a coolant or is also an activity that is needed in, in order now to modulate because, like you can see, at the moment, the weather is, uh, is hot and irrigation is taking place. It's taking place. When irrigation is taking place, due to evapotranspiration inside the greenhouse, the crop is upticking the water and... The leaves are releasing the water, the the the, the vapor, the water excess vapor, water vapor in the atmosphere. That means there is that cooling effect. There is that cooling effect inside the greenhouse because of the evapotranspiration. So if you fail to do your irrigation well, you you may be you may experience uh, challenges that are uh, come comes in hand in hand with uh, weather condition. Like I told you before in our previous episodes. Diseases and pests are favored by, by weather and the climatic condition of the area. So uh, 
in order now to regulate the, 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 the temperatures and to have a, a conducive environment free from diseases and free from pests, you have to make sure you monitor your irrigation well. Some farmers have adopted the new technology where they have gadgets that can can be able to detect uh, high temperatures and low temperatures that can be able to, to do irrigation by themselves. But for the now manually operate, operated greenhouse, you have to have a, 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 a schedule on when to irrigate and when not to irrigate. When it's very hot, you have to, to have a schedule of irrigation. You don't need to do just a one-time irrigation, like for example, a crop means, let's say a crop means around 3 liters of water per day. You do that irrigation at once. No, you need to break down your, your schedule of irrigation in order now to have uh, this water will will be able to bring the cooling inf effect, improve the, the, the environment of the of the greenhouse. Also it it acts as it acts as a as a media where which moves nutrients from the soil to the to the to the leaves. Next time subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can learn together.